I'm gonna start this episode by uh, a joke that my wife wrote and she asked me to read it here and I of course agreed. The grass is always greener on the other side, unless you know how to color grade. Visit us at learncolorgrading.com and learn how to select the grass on the other side, uh, you know, and just make it yellow and just, you know, bring the exposure down. Just make everything yellow. Sorry. In a couple of days, we're going to be announcing this year's Black Friday deals. Uh, to get notified once the deals are out, you can find the link in the description below where you can just add your email so you'll get a notification once the deals are out. Okay, now I'm going to start a new topic in, in the next couple of episodes that basically tries to answer a question that I had definitely for a while. Why do we have wheels and curves. What are the main differences? When to use wheels, when to use curves? Before we get into that, I'm going to start with a couple of episodes that shows you the power of curves or what exactly can you do with curves. Curves and resolve are very, very important because you can always find a point in the curve. Let's take a look at this image here. This is my curve. Now, I don't know where everything falls. Like if I wanted to control her face, for example, the exposure on her face, I don't know where would that fall on the curve itself. However, in resolve, if I just hover over anything while I have the curves here displayed and click now I have four points created. Let me just ungag the points here. I have the Y, the red, the uh, green, and the blue points. And this is extremely important because it allows us to control the exposure or color on a certain point in our image, which is very powerful. Let's take a look at something. I'm going to reset everything now here, reset all grades and nodes. And let's take a look at her face. There is this extra exposure. There is this peak and exposure that's happening in this area and these areas here. The problem here here that if I try to correct this with wheels for example so I simply bring the exposure down I'm bringing the exposure down of these high areas the areas that are very high in exposure but at the same time I'm bringing everything else down with it so let's take a look here at what we're gonna do to fix this reset all grades and nodes again now this area is overexposed this area is overexposed and this area here is normal. So I'm simply going to click on a normal area here, like for example here. And now I have this point created. This point now will work as a placeholder, which means that if I adjust anything else, because they have this point here, I know that the exposure on this area will not change. So now I'm gonna click here. This is my overexposed area. I'm simply gonna bring it down and I'm gonna bring this down also. Bring this down a bit, much better. Now, take a look at the exposure here on the overexposed areas. I'm simply going to hit Shift and D to see the original image. Take a look at the overexposure here and then another Shift and D and now take a look how the exposure was corrected without me having to push anything else down. And this is extremely important. For example, if I wanted to make um, her chin darker, I would simply come to color wheels, for example, and come to lift and just bring it down. And it's good. I got it down, but I also got a lot of other areas in her face down. I just pushed the entire area of shadows and a part of the midtones down, which is not what I want to do. I just want to make sure that I have my adjustment controlling only a certain clear area without affecting anything else. I'm going to uh, reset lift here, and then I'm gonna come to this part of her chin, click here, and now I have this point created. Now this point again is going to be my placeholder. This point will uh, ensure that no matter what I do to the rest of the curve here, this area will not change. Then I'm gonna click on this area under her chin, beautiful, and I'm just gonna bring the new point down. Notice that I managed to bring the point down without affecting this part at all because they have this point acting as a placeholder for this part. This is extremely important because now with the curve you can add a lot of points and every point is connected to a certain area on your image, which is, um, which is very powerful, frankly, because the adjustments you're doing now are just, are not simply like uh, an overall adjustment like shadows, midtones, and highlights. No, you're actually selecting certain features and adding selective contrast. Let's take a look at selective contrast here. I'm just gonna come to this image here, reset all grades and nodes. 
Beautiful. Now, let's say that I wanted to add a contrast adjustment that will affect her face exactly. Now, notice that the exposure on her face is going from high to low. So on her face, there are areas that are uh, more expo have more exposure than other areas. So I'm simply going to come to the brightest part on her skin, which is here. And now I have this point created when I clicked on it. And I'm going to go to the darkest area on her skin, which is, I think, here. Yes. And now I have this point created. Now notice the how far the exposure the exposure on her face is. But now I know that if I bring this up and I bring this down, I just added a very selective contrast that will affect her face mostly. Take a look at this here. Now when we control this point, take a look at the original image and the new image. Our adjustment actually makes her face pop more, but because it's it's an adjustment that was designed to correct this particular thing in the image. Let's take a look at this image. This image is a bit tricky to correct with anything other than curves because of the way it's structured. Now, let's take a look at this. I think this is the brightest area in this image. So I'm just going to click here, sample it, and this is my point. I'm going to bring this point up so that I know that I'm just bringing the exposure up without overexposing anything. The trickiest thing in this image here is that the exposure of her hands and her jacket are very close. And just because the exposure on her hand and her jacket are is very close, it's very hard to control it with lift. Is that if I try to bring the jacket down, notice that when I bring it down, I'm also bringing her hands down. Let's uh, reset this. So now I'm just going to click on the jacket here. So this point here represents the jacket and I'm going to click on her hand like this area here. And now I have this point created. Now I need to bring her hand up without the jacket because usually if I try to bring the hand up without the jacket, the jacket will also come up with the hand. It will just increase the exposure on it. But now I can simply control the hand up. So now I just increase the exposure on her hand and this point is working as a placeholder, keeping the jacket in place. And now I'm simply going to go to saturation, increase saturation. So now I have a small problem here is that the highlights look a bit green. So just simply by clicking on the highlights here, this is a new green point created. I can just bring the two green points down to correct the color and the highlights here. Much better. So take a look at the original image and the new one. Now this is a correction, this is not a grading, but it allowed us, the, the, the use of curves allowed us to do this in an entirely different way, in, in a way more targeted fashion than what we usually do by just pulling the lift down, gamma up, lift down, gamma up, and trying to balance things. I'm actually doing my corrections to the particular objects that I want to control in my image. This is one of the most powerful Powerful techniques ever. Now in this video we just uh, saw how to uh, correct exposure based on, on this. In the next episodes we're going to see how to color correct and color grade using uh, curves only. Because if you ask me today what is the only tool you would use if, if we just had to take all the tools out of Resolve and there is one tool to keep and work with, I'm just definitely is gonna be curves. So thank you for watching this. Uh, please uh, go check our free courses on Film Simplified uh, and learncolorgrading.com and thank you.